ice is forming on the lake and you might be thinking, hey, this could be safe to walk out on. So the question is whether the ice is safe or not. And is that stuff out there good enough to walk on? First and most important thing to know is that there isn't any ice that's 100% safe. So always use caution when you're venturing out on a frozen body of water. Don't trust reports you've heard about ice thickness and always check the ice yourself. Never assume that ice is safe just because you see people out on it. And lastly, be aware that ice thickness can vary greatly in different areas of the same lake due to many factors. There are different types of ice. There's dark and clear, which is generally the safest, but be careful as a fresh skim of new ice is also dark. White or opaque ice has bubbles in it and is much less stable. Gray or mottled ice is generally going to be the weakest, so you should avoid it. You'll also want to avoid springs and inlets or outlets, like where a stream or culvert enters or exits a body of water. They all play a role in moving water and therefore keeping it from freezing solid. Let's look at the basic tools you'll need to check ice thickness. You'll want traction control for your feet. This would be something like spikes, creepers, or crampons as they're called. A spud bar or ice auger is how you'll chisel through the ice. Most importantly, you should have safety equipment including ice picks, a throw rope, a life jacket, and a whistle. Check the ice near shore with the chisel and then again at least every 150 feet. Once you chisel a hole, you can use a tape measure to check the ice thickness. You should have at least four inches of good ice to safely walk on the lake. So when I saw this measurement, I turned around and stayed on shore. In Minnesota, the DNR uses a guideline of four inches to safely walk on ice and then increasing thicknesses for other methods of transportation. Check the links below to get more information from this trusted source. Again, no ice is 100% safe, but if you're careful, there are many enjoyable things to do on frozen water, including dark house spearing. If you're interested in learning more about this winter activity, click on the Hardwater Hunters link below.